Thank you, my esteemed cousin Ross. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, my newly extended families, cousins, uncles, aunties. Thank you so much for coming today. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us in today's Ellen Knight Media Series. Today, we truly witness a wonderful, amazing conversation between two experts and colleagues, Professor Monica Attard and Professor Peter Frey. I would like to sincerely thank uh, my cousin Monica and my cousin Peter from the bottom of my heart for their contribution to the Affinity Ellen Knight uh, Media Series. Thank you. Today's topics is a significant topic for our society and Affinity will make sure to continue to address these crucial topics throughout the year under the title of Ellen Knight Media Series with the assistance of our esteemed board members, in particularly Cathy Abla and also Uncle John Cleary. Thank you. Affinity has a remarkable synergy and strong support from all of all of our uh, its advisory board members who are sweet and lovely people like Turkish Delight. We believe you are important assets, not only for our affinity, but also for the Australian society to raise and promote universal human values and rule of law. Today, the challenge journalism faces in our society is both from within and from without. The external challenge is coming from rising populism equipped with the various forms of racism and fake news. The root cause of the problem is the readiness of society in being happily deceived. Rising authoritarian populists deceive their people with the shameless, shameless lies. When their lies are revealed, the majority doesn't really care because it wasn't the truth value that people paid for. It was the entertainment value. It is the truth. It is, it is, it is like a shopaholic buying fake expensive bags and not caring when told that the bag is fake because he or she has paid not for the bag, but for the experience of shopping. The product might be fake, but the joy is real. Unfortunately, the internal challenge is that some former journalists are happily both into this cultural post fruit much like in my mother country today in Turkey. Hundreds of journalists are behind bars on allegations of terrorist activity. As for the journalists that are free, thousands are wittingly, willfully, joyfully collaborating with the authoritarian regime of the current government. Read, the, read their newspaper, watch their TV channels, and you will almost believe that Turkey is contending with Germany in technology, with China in exports, and with Israel in innovation. From Venezuela to India, like you discussed in this, in this conversation, from Venezuela to India, from Hungary to Philippines, this is pitiful situation of journalism. How what used to be gatekeepers of knowledge become PR and social engineering machinery of populism? The deep fake is already in the newsroom. Is this end of the world as we know it? It can be, but it won't be if journalists abide by the ethics of their profession and remain the guardians of truth. Journalists do not only have a duty of safeguarding the truth, but also the duty of nurturing love and respect for truth. As a result, at Affinity, we are working for the rise of new generation that loves and respect truth. These are the principles of the healthy, peaceful, modern society. Affinity has always lived, presented, and acted, acted both the values of universal human rights and rule of law as a practicing, a dynamic institution by providing a platform to listen to peaceful mind experts like today. I truly believe that both seek a strong bottom line and hope to contribute to the well-being of society by aiming to solve three major social problems, disunity, poverty, and ignorance. Dear distinguished guests, today is the second lecture of what we call the Illinois Media Series. This title was given in the name of a very respected and dear person to me. Uncle Alan was the icon of affinity and helped to raise and promote 
true values in media, which are significant and truly needed in today's media world. We will, we will always remember un un Uncle Alan for his legacy. Now, for the most exciting part of the day, it is a gift time. All gifts, by the way, are from my uncle's shop. <laughs> I'd like to invite my cousin Arti, Arti Banga, director and editor-in-chief of multi-platform media group Desi Australia for South Asian community to present a small gift to my cousin Ross. Please, Arti, and please, Uncle, uh, uh, Auntie, or oh, cousin, senior cousin, Ross, please. <laughs> Honorable, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, cousin Arti, and thank, thank you, cousin, you. senior cousin Ross. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, yellow chair. Yes. Yeah. Um, now, I would like to invite my cousins Monica and Peter to give a small gift to Kathy Abla, who is an esteemed advisor board member and co founder of the Illinois Media Series at Affinity. Would you please, and just, yes, it's a small gift from my uncle's shop, too. Yet, <laughs> To you, uh, Kathy Abla, yes. Thank you, my cousins. Of course, without uh, saying something about my great uncle, uh, another esteemed board member, uh, uh, John Cleary, he's also another co-founder of the uh, Ellen Knight Media Series. Finally, I would like to give a short introduction to Affinity's uh, two confirmed upcoming events at the end of this year. Firstly, Affinity has organized a climate emergency lecture series, which is a, a conversation lunch like today, on Thursday, 14th of November, this lecture series has been designed by another distinguished board member, my uncle, Associated Professor Clyde Pearson. He's with us now. The topic is uh, Faithful Responses to Climate Emergency, Acting in Herb. Further details are on our website. Is this correct, uncle? Thank you. Secondly, there will be a lunch on lecture on Wednesday, 4th of December, my uncle coming from Melbourne. Actually, he's a race discrimination commissioner. The current spe keynote speaker is race discrimination commissioner, Mr. Chin Tan. He will talk about anti-racism on that day, still pending, and then we will update very soon our webpage. As always, information on all of, all of our uh, future events can be found online. If you have any questions or any ideas, or projects, please don't hesitate to speak to me. I'm from Turkey. Yes, I like Turkish baklava, Turkish delight. Once again, thank you for your time. Good afternoon. See you next event. Thank you. <laughs>